Well, it's been years since we've touched the smoke alarms at the bottom of the ADT Unimode 10UD fire alarm demonstration board, and I've seen the requests pile up, and I think it's finally time, I think it's overdue, for a smoke alarm video involving these alarms. So I have a really cool setup today, something kind of interesting that I don't think I've really seen any videos of, and today is going to be about why you generally don't want to intermix brands when you're installing hardwired smoke alarms or replacing hardwired smoke alarms. So these three smoke alarms down here, they're all hardwired, which means they have AC power. They're plugged in with this black plug right here. And then they also have a third interconnecting wire in the back. If I pop one of these down, you can see there's wires. There's more wires on the inside. And then this last one here has more wires. So they're all wired in together, which means when one goes off, they should all go off. And they have AC power as their primary power source and a battery backup as battery backup. You might hear some chirping today and that's just because I don't have batteries in any of them. But anyways, on the board right now, we have one FireX smoke alarm and two first alert smoke alarms. The one on the far right is a first alert 7010 BSL 177 Candela hearing impaired strobe smoke alarm. It's meant for hearing impaired occupants so that they can see the strobe flash and recognize that there may be a fire. To the left is a first alert 770 LBX dual ionization and faux electric smoke alarm. These are no longer in production. And then to the left one more time, we have a FireX I4618 series ionization smoke alarm. These models are extremely common. As I mentioned earlier, hardwired smoke alarms usually have three wires in the back. Two of them power the alarm, and then the third is a communications wire. And when one alarm detects a fire, it can send usually a low voltage pattern through that third communications wire and let the other alarms know that it's detecting a fire and to sound their alarms. And that's how they're interconnected so that when one sounds, they all sound. The problem is, the way that alarms interpret signals and the signals that they send can differ based on brands. To go a step further, when these alarms are undergoing their UL listing experience and doing a lot of testing, UL will usually only test the communications loop between the alarms of its own brand. So by introducing another brand into the circuit, UL's not gonna have your back and guaranteeing that the alarm's gonna communicate properly if it's wired properly. In the past, I have intermixed different brands of alarms on the same interconnected circuit in my own home and found that the communication works just fine. So this is not a 100% of the time it won't work kind of a deal. However, I have many times come across different brands on the same circuit and have found that they haven't worked. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So I have the FireX alarm on the left and we'll give it a test. And if it works, the other two will sound. Spoiler alert, they're not going to sound because it doesn't work. But then we'll also test the fire or the first alert smoke alarms and both these will sound, but this won't sound. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this. Here's the Fire X one. And these other two stayed silent, although they are all wired together so that they should be going off if they were the same brand. All right, now we'll, text, we'll test out one of these first alert alarms and you'll see both of them going off because they're of the same brand and have the same communications protocol. Here we go. So in that test, only these two alarms sounded, and then this one failed to make any sort of noise because it didn't recognize the communications protocol 
that this alarm had going through that third wire. Some brands can be intermixed with each other and they will be sure to market that on their packaging. And if you absolutely had to intermix different brands on the same circuit, there is some special hardware pieces that you can get in order to do that. However, in the first place, it might just be a good idea to get brands of smoke alarms when you're either replacing or installing them that are all the same and not intermixed. It's always a good idea to refer to the manufacturer's guidelines when it comes to smoke alarms. However, as a general rule of thumb, pick one brand and go with it when it comes to interconnected alarms. When they're not interconnected, you can do whatever you want, but interconnected, if you want them talking, make sure they're all the same brand. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day. Thank you.